Hi everybody, this is Matt, and I'm going to show you how to create a custom mountain or landscape using Blender and import that item into Trackmania so we can have some custom scenery. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow the tutorial video I created for um, installing the Trackmania plugin and installing Blender. The link to that is in the description. At the end of the video, you'll end up with something like this and we can start from here. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, delete all this. And we're, we're just gonna, we have all, all our settings in, in place for the author and everything and, and our game set up. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new landscape. And so to do that, we need to configure a plug, an add-on for Blender called the Ant Landscape add-on. So if you go into, um, so this was edits and then preferences, and you can search for landscape. And I've already enabled it, but essentially you'll want to click this check mark to, um, which can disable and enable the plugin. So make sure this is checked so the ant landscape will be enabled. And this is a tool that lets us generate landscapes. So let's go ahead and add one in. So we're going to click add. Um, so we're in object mode. We'll click add mesh and then landscape. And so this is going to create a, a tiny landscape here. It's the mouse wheel, scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and then press the mouse wheel down to kind of click in and drag and move it. So this is what it generated so far. And you can see in our collection on the right here, we have our, our landscape. And so when we click on landscape here and click on create in the sidebar, okay, if you don't can't see this sidebar, go ahead and click view and make sure the, the sidebar is enabled. So um, you'll, you should be able to see this create button. And this is where we can kind of edit and change what our landscape looks like. There is a massive amount of options on here. I'm definitely not an expert in everything you can do with it, uh, but play around with it. There's, um, it's super, super, super powerful. The first thing we wanna do is, um, we, we can change our material later. I'll, I'll select the purple rock for now, but we'll go ahead and change that later. Um, for the subdivisions, we want to do, I like doing like 24. So this, this will essentially affect how many faces are on our item and too many faces or items just going to be too big. It'll be hard to export. And then it would have really bad performance in game as well. So you can play around with this. I'm going to do 24 for the mesh size. This is essentially, um, there, there's essentially two places to edit the size. This is the first one. We'll, we'll show the second one in the later in the video. Um, but you can see this is two squares by two squares. So we're going to go ahead and make this maybe like, I'll, I'll do 10 by 10. And now that I've edited these values, click regenerate. And you can see that our, our landscape here is very short, but it is a little bit bigger. And so if we want to make this taller, the landscape setting we need for that is, um, I think it's, there's two. I think it, we have the height and the maximum. So let's go ahead and change the maximum to, uh, I'll do 10. So 10 and hit enter. And then the height, I'm gonna say eight. If I can type properly. Okay, cool. So this looks a little like kind of crazy tall for a mountain. Um, I'll, I'll bring this down to five. We'll refresh that. Okay. Cool, and now you can see our mountains, we have a lot of these little spikes. Um, so I think the one we changed for that is the landscape noise. So there, there's lots of different kinds of noise here. I'm gonna select the slick rock option and, and just refresh so that that's gonna be a little shorter. Um, we can also change the size of the noise as well. So I'm gonna change this noise size to four. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. So that's a lot more similar to our original mountain. Um, we can, if we wanted it more centered, we can change the offset here. So let's say we did an offset of two. Okay, that, that'll be vertical offset, it looks like. Um, maybe it's, I think it's this one. So maybe set this one to two. Okay, so that kind of moved it a little bit. Yeah, this looks pretty good as a mountain. Um, so yeah, tons of different settings you can play around with. Um, 
yeah, I like I like the look of this, so we we can go with that. The next thing we need to do is add a UV map. So the UV map is super important, and it basically makes the item look correctly, it look right in the game. And so to create a UV map, I'm gonna go. We can select the item, um, and I think we go to edit mode, and we'll make sure all click and drag, make sure everything is selected here. And we're gonna click UV and then unwrap. And so if we click up now on the UV editing tab, we should see that there is a UV map here on the left. And it was basically just kind of unwrapped from um, our mountain here. So the next thing we wanna do is um, select our material. So I don't want the mountain to be purple. Maybe I want it to be brown. So to do that, we want to go back to object mode. We can close the, uh, click back to layout. In object mode, we'll go back to our track media add-on, scroll down to the bottom to the material creation slash update section. I'm gonna make one called, um, a new material called cliff and we'll use custom rock again, but let's make this one brown. So I think brown, I don't know, like somewhere between red and orange and yeah, this, I guess that kind of looks, or no, here we go between orange and yellow. That, that kind of looks, yeah, that looks brown. Okay. So we'll create our cliff color. And then if we select our landscape and in this, um, menu here, there, there's a circle. So this circle we can change and uh, the material. So we, we can go ahead and click the circle, click this other circle and click the brown one. So that will change us to this like brown custom rock material. The next place we can actually um, change the scale of our object is in this menu as well. Um, so we don't have to scale everything up in Blender. We can also scale things when we export it from Blender. So the export scaling is this object scale. So we need to have our, um, our landscape selected here. And I think we click on this scale exports, click object scale. I'm going to make this 16 so we can get like a, a bigger mountain when, when we import it. And the, the light color, I, I don't think this should matter. Um, the next thing we can do is change our icon. So in the create icon section, if you click on do a test render, it will show you what the icon would look like in the game. And so this square is not very informative. So if you select the um, camera from like the top or the front or, or the side, like I'll select right, for example, um, and let's see, icon test. Oh, gotta select our object. So I, I'm not sure, this probably doesn't matter that, or that we can play around with this style. So, okay. So I selected filmic and write, and you need to make sure you have your landscape selected. Click do a test render, and you can kind of see like from the side, like, yeah, that looks like a mountain. So that'll help differentiate a little bit um, if you're making lots of mountains, like which one is which based on the icon. The next thing we want to do is name our object. So if you double click on this where it says collection, I'm going to go ahead and change that to mountain. And so that's the name that should be used when we export it. And we'll see that name. I think it's in the settings here as well. Um, you can definitely go, go play around with everything. So now that we've um, selected everything, so we want to we're ready or we've created our mountain. We're ready to export. Go ahead and click on landscape.001. Um, if you have this selected, then that's what's going to be exported. So we can click on export and convert one collection. And now that created our collection name mountain. Um, so now we can go into track mania and it should all be there. But just to show you where these items are saved in case you need to like rename things, or you're wondering what's what under um, C 
program, or actually it's, uh, yeah, it's here. So it should be in your document somewhere, Trackmania items, and then in items, it's just gonna save it right here. So I can see my mountain item, the mesh and the shape were all saved at 8.59. So it's just the item that you need. The mesh and the, and the shape were like intermediate things that were created when we were creating our item. Uh, so just to illustrate that, I'm gonna delete these two. Um, it doesn't actually matter if they're there or not, but they're just kind of like intermediate steps uh, while the exporter happens. So we have our mountain and we know what our icon looks like. Um, so just as a reminder, um, if I select this, do a test render. So we're gonna go ahead and look for this brown mountain in Trackmania. So I'll go ahead and boot up Trackmania and we'll create a new map, we'll import our mountain and we can see what it looks like. Go ahead, let's track mania loads. Got the music going, perfect. Um, so we'll go to the map editor, um, edit a map. So there's a map called 256 cubed base, no sound bug with stadium. So it's a really large map. So if you don't want, if you want a bigger map to build on, I'll link to this one in the description. Um, this is a great map to uh, just like build something that that's really, really big, which can be nice when you're trying to do something with scenery and you don't want to be confined to the stadium or have to try and like work within those boundaries. Cool, so now that we're in here, we'll go ahead to our custom item and we can see the mountain that we created here. Uh, we should be able to click, move it around, uh, generate it. So I'm gonna just place it right there and we'll go to light settings and compute shadows as well. And then we can drop our car on it. And so you can see that it, this mountain isn't that big, but it, it's fairly big. Um, I do get some of these weird shadows sometimes with custom items. That I'm not totally sure or an expert in it or anything. Uh, but this is our mountain that we generated. So we can drive around on it. Uh, we can use it as scenery or use it as part of the course. Um, we can do some really crazy things with the landscape editor. Um, that that could be good. So yeah, there we go. That's how to create a mountain in Blender and import it into Trackmania. So super excited to see what tracks you guys come up with uh, using this technique. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. So thanks everyone for watching.